Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Believe it or not, Ellery here, full grown woman. Every time I wear this beanie around the house, uh, she calls me bald headed, but I mean, anyways, I uh, took a picture yesterday on Snap with like a really simple liner, uh, it has some gold leaf in there and uh, I told you guys to screenshot if you wanted me to do a tutorial on it and um, I got the message, a lot of screenshots were taken. It's actually very simple, and this is kind of how I usually wear my makeup on a daily basis, like when I'm not filming, uh, aside from the gold leaf, but as far as like everything else that I'm gonna do, it's kind of like my, my go-to at the same time, so. It's kind of like a two for one tutorial. My go-to and a little gold leaf liner. Anyways, right now, um, besides my bald head, I have uh, <laughs> my face prepped and my brows done. So I'm just gonna do my eyes really quick. Starting with benefits, don't stray, medium deep primer. And I'm just gonna wipe off my lids first and then apply this to my lids, kind of more so concentrating in the crease where I tend to crease if I don't have it. Also per use, I'm getting my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and uh, those colors blending brush and I'm just gonna buff this all over my lids. This is just to really get my lid all one color. Also going to act as like my lid shade because I'm not putting anything on my lids. This is pretty much gonna be my lid color. Next, uh, sometimes I use like two or three colors. Sometimes I use one color. It just depends on how lazy I am that day. Um, and I just pop that into the crease. It's usually like some short of match brown shade. In this case, since I already have this out because I used it yesterday, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty, the rose gold palette. This rose gold palette? Yeah, the palette that I pretty much mentioned in the last video. I didn't use this in the last video, but I mentioned that I use it often because there's a lot of matte transition shades that I like in here. For the most part in this palette, I tend to use Henna Sandalwood and Bossy. Those are like my go-to transition shades, like when I'm just trying to do something really simple. Sometimes I'll pop in some Man Eater or some Cocoa. It just depends on how much time I want to spend on it. I'm just going to do a little dumbed down version today. Uh, I'm pretty much going to do it exactly how I did it yesterday on Snap. So you follow me on Snap, you probably couldn't even tell what was on my lids because it was very simple besides the liner. So I'm just doing it the same way. I'm going to grab Henna, which is this dark brown matte right here. And I'm going to buff it almost right in my crease, but slightly above. This is the Sigma Blending 825 brush. And then I get a smaller blending brush. This, of course, is the, doesn't have a name, number on it, but I know it's the Morphe Small Tapered Blending Brush. One of my faves to get, like, right in that crease. And then I dip it back and forth in between Bossy and Henna. More so in Bossy, because I want to kind of deepen up the crease to define it a little bit more. But adding a little touch of Henna is going to make them transition a little smoother without me having to, like, spend too much time on it. So I'm going to go right in the crease, starting in the outer corner, and kind of carve it out. So then after I placed those two colors in the crease, I just grabbed that same brush that I used before and I kind of just sweep over it just to kind of blend those two colors together. Not being too perfect because I didn't add too much anyway, so it's much easier to blend it out if you use less shadow. And that's pretty much it for the creasage lidage area. Next, I just go in with my inner eye corner highlight. Sometimes I just leave it simply a highlight. Sometimes I add, you know, my glitter liner, that one from Tarte that I use all the time. But today I'm just gonna use the highlighter and it's usually whatever highlighter I use on my cheeks so depending on you know my cheek highlighter of the day that's usually the same color that I pop in the inner corners today I used the Maybelline master chrome highlighter the molten gold it's like all cracked up in here it's basically like a loose powder right now and this is dose of colors pencil brush and I'm just gonna pop this in the inner corners now I'm using LA Girls Very Black Gel Liner Pencil and I'm just going to apply this to my waterline and tightline at the top. I just broke it and I don't feel like going to get my sharpener so I'm not going to tightline at the top. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't uh, smudge out any shadow on my uh, lower lash line but today I am. I'm just going to use that same pencil brush and go into Bossy and just smudge out the liner on my lower lash line. And finally, for the main event, the wing liner. Now normally, matte liner is my jam, either a gel pot or a matte liquid liner, like you just gotta be matte. 
But in this case, since I'm sticking something to the liner, um, in order to avoid it you know, falling off or having to use any type of adhesive or anything like that, even though uh, Gold Leaf is kind of sticky on its own, it applies even easier to me if you use a vinyl liquid liner as opposed to a matte liner. Like I've done it on matte liner before, but it was hard to like stick it there and have it stay there. Like I had to play with it a little bit. But if you use a vinyl liner or AKA a liner that just has a shinier finish to it. That finish, the surface, will help the uh, gold leaf stick without you really having to do too much to it besides just put it in place. The liner that I'm going to use is the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. This also comes in a matte finish, which is one of my faves. So basically I'm gonna apply my wing liner like I normally do, but I'm gonna make it a little thicker, not like, like Amy Winehouse thicker, but just enough so that I can fit enough gold leaf on it. So it just kind of depends on how much gold leaf you want on it. I like to keep mine pretty simple, so I'm just gonna do, you know, a little bit thicker than what I normally do. So I usually start by kind of wiping off the wand to kind of make it pointy and not have too much of the product on there. That way I could be a little bit more precise Then I just dip back into the brush, pointing the tip once again, and I'm gonna start in the inner corner and drag that out to connect it to the tip. Now I usually don't start as thick as I want it because we all know liquid liner can go left real quick. So if you start out thick and you mess up, you are gonna be all the way up in your brow to your temple. So it's better to kind of start off a little thinner than you want it and then kind of build it out just to leave room for any mistakes that you may make. So I'm just gonna go back over the top of the liner and kind of add a little bit more thickness to it. Okay, and once you get your liner how you like it without passing out, now it's time to add the gold leaf. I've had this gold leaf, I think, for a few years now. I got it from uh, as a gift from Glitter Injections, but I'm sure they have gold leaf sheets on Amazon, so check that out. But pretty much I already have like a bunch of pieces broken up in here, so that makes it a little bit easier because I don't have to like be really particular as far as breaking them apart because most of them are already broke off in the sizes that I need. Then I got this little tool. It's actually a nail tool that I use for my nails. Uh, but I'm just going to use this um, pointed side tip of it. And I'm going to just grab little pieces of the gold leaf and put it on the end of the tool and stick them on my liner. <laughs> I'm staying within the liner so that it's nice and clean. So some pieces I have to break even smaller. But like I said, because of the finish of this liquid liner, it just sticks right in place. Now, of course, you can add this on the entire wing liner. I just chose to keep mine on the tip and about a third into the lid, but you know, recreate into your own thing. For now, I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye before I add my lashes and mascara. I went with less dramatic lashes than the original photo that you guys seen on Snap, just so you can see more of that gold leaf shine through, I'm trying to give it its shine. So I used one of my old faves, House of Lashes in the style Iconic. And then finally, some mascara. This is Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. After that, you know, spray your face with some setting spray, add your lip gloss, put on your wig, and you are done. So here it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really quick how-to gold foil liner tutorial. If you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, and of course, as usual, let me know what you want to see next in the comments. But um, until then, love y'all.